Good afternoon and welcome to Take Action News with David Schuster. This is executive producer Daniel Marins, guest hosting with this week, this Saturday, June 15th, 2013. And it is a beautiful day here at We Act Radio Studios in Anacostia in Washington, D.C. Sunny, but not too hot, though we have been experiencing that this week. With me in studio is Pete Johnny Depp Callahan, working the board as always, doing a terrific job. Pete, how are you doing today? I am wonderful, Daniel. It is a beautiful day out. Everything is going wonderful here. And we have internet this week. We've had internet all morning. Uh, I'm just so impressed with Comcast and their level of service this week. Uh-huh. Well, uh, Pete making a, a, a sub-reference, if you will, to some of the problems that we've had with our, our public utilities here, though we're not going to get into too many details. Of course, I'm sitting in the host chair today, not just in my capacity as executive producer, which normally I host the second hour, but of course because David Schuster, we are proud to announce his wife, Kira Rennert, recently gave birth to their first child, baby girl, Ayala Danielle Rennert Schuster. Two last names for Kira Renner and David Schuster. We wish them congratulations. Mazel tov. David Schuster is going to be out on paternity leave the next two weeks. I'll be sitting in guest hosting, but he may make a cameo appearance later in the show. And of course, we wish him all the best. Such exciting news. And we've got a very exciting show ahead of us. We're going to be talking all of the first hour about the NSA leak. The leak revealing that the, that the National Security Agency has the authority to hold the phone records of just about all Americans in in pursuit of metadata that was an order given by the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act courts back in April that was revealed in a leak to Glenn Greenwald. And this past week, that leaker came forward. His name is Edward Snowden. We'll give you all the latest on what we know about that leaker, everything that he is doing, where he's hiding in Hong Kong, what his story is, how he's being depicted in the media, what the political dynamics of this are, and whether we should really care, whether this is an important challenge to our constitutional rights, or whether it is just the necessary measures needed to protect us from terrorism. Well, I think that you'll find that I weigh in heavily on one side of that. 